Well, Farah Malim is joining us now. He's a member of parliament for Dadaab. Honorable Farah, before you came in, you were talking about the front page of the Daily Nation and the standard, how cash was moved, Ruto throws Mandago under the bus of a scam. But we're talking about the bigger question of should there be limitation from a governor running for Senate? Because we see now this probe for Mandago is during the time when he was the governor and now he sits at the Senate. He's essentially, he's probing himself or his colleagues are probing his, his former tenure. Should this be reviewed? And I'm talking about this because now there's an old conversation around the dialogue, which will come to. There's also already been pro some proposals to add some counties there. So is this one of the things that needs to be talked about? Though the senator says that it's already a bill at the Senate. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the, there has to be, um, in some countries, it's not legislated, but it's a tradition. I mean, uh, nobody stops. Uh, a president, I think, through the American Constitution for running for any office after he has uh, served his two terms. But the tradition is there. I mean, he doesn't run for any office. He can only do a pro bono thing as, you know, an envoy of peace or for certain, basically, uh, programs that are done by his foundation or her foundation in that, in that matter. In our case, you know, this business of always looking politics with a with the, with the prism of trying to maintain the relevance of certain people who want to be there all the time. I mean, it is, is, in my opinion, something that needs to be legislated. Yeah. There are some countries where when you serve your term as a, as a president, you sit in the Senate uh, as, as, as it's an automatic thing. If you were, you've been a president and you're not a president anymore, you sit in the Senate, which in my opinion, I think is also a mistake. A very big mistake because you keep on rippling in politics when essentially you should, you've done your time, uh, your time. You should be doing something else. You should be, you know, doing some something with your own foundation or with your own wisdom or teaching at a university or basically uh, writing books. Uh, so, so I, I, I have a problem with uh, people who run for two terms as senate, as governors and then come back and run as a member of parliament. I've seen actually one or two who ran for members of parliament in the last election and lost. I lost. I mean, it tells you how somebody who had uh, tens of thousands of votes as a governor yeah. uh, ends up getting less than 10,000 votes again in, in, in a parliamentary constituency election. Yeah. Uh, that tells you a lot about how people felt about that person for the period he was there or she was there. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, once you're a governor and, or you're a president and you've done your term, uh, it doesn't matter how young you are. If you choose to run for these things when you're very young, I'm, 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 you know, at a ripe age, of still a very active age of in your 40s or in your 50s, you have no business to do, and you feel you can run again in, 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 in another constituency, in a constituency or a senate and the rest of it. I think it's a, it's a mistake. Okay. That, that should never be allowed. Never. Let me just finish. Let me just finish. Let me just finish. Yeah. Uh, one would say that, oh, this is a form of discrimination. No. It is a positive discrimination. Okay. You, you see what I mean? You're allowed to engage in a positive discrimination because uh, the country needs to move on. Yeah. And, and it cannot be fixated and held as, as somebody who is like a tree. You know, basically, you're there. In the US, they tried to even put time limits on the House of uh, Representatives. I, 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 I don't know whether we should even put time limits on, on, on National Assembly. Probably one of the first victims, but I, I don't. I, <laughs> <laughs> but I think, but I think there is need for sometimes for people to maintain, you know, certain things. Eh? Yeah. Uh, 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 but I, I, I have a feeling in this country, this country has become hostage yeah. to a few uh, paramount dons. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Who either created that uh, institution and that image. As, as uh, in Nigeria, they call the chiefs Igwe or something like that. Yeah. Some kind of an Igwe status within their community. And they want to be there as a permanent fixture. Mm. And, and that's why we have, that's why we have uh, problems after every five years. You, you see what I mean? Because we have the same people running for elections again. Yeah. We have the same people who have become uh, basically warlords in their own you know, jurisdictions. And, and, and they, they're there. And until they go, to, until they go to the grave, okay. it's it's a mistake okay. in every region. Yeah. Th that kind of a thing was there, and it's a mistake in my opinion. In my opinion, you do your two terms as a governor, take a walk, go and put up a foundation somewhere, go back to school, yeah. go and teach. <laughs> okay. One of the persons I have the utmost respect for in this country is Nancy Baraza. Mm. Nancy Baraza did not even serve. Uh, for, she served for the shortest uh, uh, stint as 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 a member of the 
Supreme Court, yeah. and, and, and literally one of the most progressive members, and basically through some small conspiracy, in my own opinion, I might be wrong, she was, she was bundled out. But, but she went back to the university, and, and she's teaching there. She's now a professor, I think, yeah? yeah. And, and, and she's, she's contributing very positively in a manner that essentially in its own right, okay. in a class right now in the yeah. university, yeah. everybody would want to register for our for courses, you know what I mean? Okay. So you excel in other areas, and you can be a peacemaker yeah. in, in the continent or in the region for that matter. Okay.